Happy Friday everybody, it's Scrap Diva 29 and I'm back today to share with you a few projects I've been working on. I've been busy all week, I didn't get a whole lot of crafting done, but I got a little bit done and I just wanted to share with you um, a couple of projects. So the first project I want to share is this card that I recently made and it just says create and I plan on giving this to a crafty friend and I did use this new die that I just recently got from Hobby Lobby. It's the Lori Whitlock and it's Foxy 2, I believe, or Fox 2. Yeah, Fox number 2. So pick this up at Hobby Lobby. Of course, use the 40% off coupon to get that. And um, this is what I came up with. Um, I was inspired by Favored, what is her YouTube name? I think it's Favored Flavors. And her name is Shandi, I believe, here on YouTube. I really like her channel and she really inspires me and she had got this same little guy and did a beautiful card and so I just knew that I wanted to get this die. I've been seeing several of you all um, making some cute projects and cards with it and I knew that I wanted it. So um, this is what I came up with and I did use the, the new paper pad from Hobby Lobby that I just recently got. Those uh, bold and bright colors and I just love the little fox. It's I wanted to do kind of like a fall theme fox, so that's why I went with these colors and then I used my creative time die to make that bow and uh, the Heidi Swap Create and I just added a button and some bling. And um, on the inside I just put friends make the world a better place. I just stamped that on the inside. And that was using the Jilly Bean Soup handwritten sentiments uh, stamp set. So I really like the way that card came out, super cute, and you could do so many things with Little Fox, like make uh, tags or put them on treat bags. I saw a really cute idea for treat bags, so I might do that as well for Christmas, make a Christmas themed fox. So moving along, um, I did um, decide to purchase this Sizzix die from Hobby Lobby the other day, and mainly because I wanted to have like a poinsettia. In my stash, I didn't really have a poinsettia, and I just liked the size of this one. And also, I wanted to see the difference in size of the um, pillow box, because it, it, it does come with a pillow box die, and then it comes with the, um, the flowers. And um, with the We Are Memory Keepers um, pillow box, this is the size that it creates. It's slightly smaller in um, the length, well not the length, but in the width. So you can see this one is slightly bigger and I was trying to figure out if you could make these ones bigger, but you really can't. You can only make the We Are Memory Keepers uh, longer, but not wider. So I just decided to pick this one up. I like the size of this one a little bit better because you can fit a little bit more um, like goodies in here, I thought. And so this is what I came up with and Super cute. It was $12.99 and I used the 40% off coupon, of course, um, at Hobby Lobby. So super cute treat bag and I used that fun gold uh, paper pad from Michaels. Other projects I've been working on, um, I finally completed my dangle for my pocket letter swap and um, I really like the way it came out. I added an arrow and some little um, sequins right here and then some beads and one of these diamond uh, chains. And it's very tiny and delicate and I thought it went well with that theme of that pocket letter that I had made. So that's one um, bottle cap uh, dangle that I'm going to attach to that pocket letter. And then I did make a Halloween dangle. And this is my Halloween dangle. And I did use the um, beads that Nurse Tara gifted me. Um, these are all the beads that she made. So I came up, put this dangle together for a Halloween project. And I thought that came out really cute. And I put some stars and some glitter in there in the center. And then moving along, I did make a few tags, some Christmas tags. Um, I thought these were really cute. I'm gonna try to get a little, a little closer. I know I'm a little there. I think that's a little bit better. These were made by uh, using My Creative Time. Um, and it's the Gingerbread Wishes. And it comes with all these sentiments and the die. I'm pretty sure the die came with this. I can't remember if it, you had to get it separately or if it, if it was together, but I bought it a while back. 
and I make a lot of treats and give out a lot of um, sugar cookies around the holidays and so I wanted to start making some of these tags for that to attach to the little treat bags and I thought those are really cute and I love the little gingerbread I just added bling and um, use different color cardstock and it says have a tasty holiday this one I used a ribbon up here it's wired ribbon and then this one right here is that dollar store uh, uh, tool which I can't find by the way somewhere lost in my black hole but it's around here somewhere I thought that's really cute and another tag that I made is this one right here and I use that snowman diary die and I just put him on dimensionals and used my um, I think diamond dies, tag dies to make this die, and then I put some gold sparkly tool on the top and added a button and some um, twine. And I thought that was cute, and you could put to or from or, you know, and put this on a, on a gift. And I thought that came out really cute. And I did add some stickles to this snowman. I don't know if you can see it, but I added a little bit of stickles to this little man. So anyway, that's it for today, you guys, I think. I don't think I have anything else to share. Hopefully I can get some more stuff done next week. I hope everyone has a great weekend, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.